You can see Minecraft looks a little bit different, like all of we've loaded up. The fossils and archaeology revival mod. If you don't know what fossils and archaeology revival is, it is an awesome mod that adds fossils and archaeology. Beautiful. I am a paleontology uh, major, so I study fossils. So we're loading up the world now. We're gonna see what it looks like. Um, keeping in mind that this mod pack is made for 1.12.2. Very old. So if you guys don't know what you do in fossils and archaeology, it's basically you just start out like normal. So we're gonna go punch a tree and get some wood. So yeah, there's some really cool stuff on here. There's, uh, I think, over 50 prehistoric mobs that you can revive added to the game with this mod. Um, there is some new blocks, some new tools, some new weapons. Everyone has a favorite dinosaur, right guys? Everyone has a favorite dinosaur. I'm gonna have a bunch of dinosaurs that I'm gonna be reviving and if, if you want a dinosaur named after you, then you should tell me in the comment section down below what your favorite dinosaur is and maybe, just maybe, I might name that dinosaur after you, you know? For me, I have always loved sauropods, uh, which are the long-necked ones. And just the long-necked ones are the cooler ones, you know? They're just, they're very basic, but they're cool. I do also love me a stegosaurus. I just like me the chonky, the chonky boys that are like herbivores. They just, they love to eat and they chonk. I also, love me pachysaurs because those things bruh they just something that headbutts another thing absolutely iconic you know i would like to headbutt things i know a lot of you are probably gonna say my favorite dinosaur is the t-rex because he big understandable or man nash velociraptors super cool haven't you watched Jurassic World? And I'll be like, I have watched Jurassic World. And yes, they are cool. Also, I said, I say dinosaurs. You can, it, it's not just dinosaurs. Tell me your favorite prehistoric creature. Because, man, are there more than just dinosaurs in this game. We won't shame you for not liking a sauropod over a, over a pterosaur. I'm pretty sure these are, at least, I'm pretty sure they used to be called fossil blocks. And, as you can see, I broke it with a stone pickaxe. And it didn't drop anything. So what you need to do to be able to pick up that block is you need to get some iron. Alright, let's dig down. I can hear lava bubbling, which is good. It means we're getting lower. Honestly, I'm, I'm pretty much just mining till I get to 12 and then... I would, I'll just start up a strip mine, I guess. Um, that way we can at least be searching for diamonds. That is um, ironic. It looks like an eight, a vein of eight as well, jeez. And we're at 12 now, so we can start up our strip mine and hopefully if we just keep mining this way. All right, there's some redstone. It's good. And we got iron. Yay, finally. Wow. All right, we got hardware. And we finally have ourselves an iron pick. I'm going to make two. Bang. Um, it doesn't always give you a skull block. Let's break the next one and uh, we'll show you. Bang, so this is what we want the most. It's a biofossil. So a bio, what a biofossil lets us do basically is we'll be able to extract DNA out of the out of the biofossils. But we need quite a few of them uh, from my recollection. And there's the second most common thing, a relic scrap. So obviously the mod is called fossils and archeology. span so fossils in the biofossils and archaeology is in the relic scraps. And this is a plant fossil. So obviously the biofossil is for animals, whereas the plant fossil is for 
prehistoric plants, which is cool. The blocks themselves, the fossil blocks, will give you a random chance of getting an assortment of different things. And eight diamonds, already more diamonds than we have iron. We just picked up a Titanus leg bone, um, a Deinonychus vertebrae. So Deinonychus is um, a dinosaur and the Titanus I'm pretty sure is a extinct ratite bird. So a bit like an emu or an ostrich. With a biofossil, you can place it on the ground and Wham! Look at that. And it's my favorite, it's a Brachiosaurus. A little Brachiosaurus fossil model. And then if I break it, it'll give me a biofossil back again. Looks like I'm gonna make boots, right? But, when you whack a biofossil and a relic scrap in, bang, we've got an analyzer. That's cool, so we're gonna do a quick little build. We've made a shrine for our analyzer. We are researchers now. Look at that, look at us go. Interesting there. A relic scrap, a biofossil, and something very interesting again. And as you can see, into a million pieces advancement just came up. Broken ancient helmet. So we can fix that eventually to get a really cool ancient helmet. And we also found this. Um, Megaloceros antlers. So Megaloceros was a big old uh, deer, reindeer. So we're gonna make uh, this into paper. Bam and leather bang book. And then with a book and a biofossil, you can make what's called a dinopedia. Read all about it exactly. So you can open this up um, on dinosaurs when you collect them and it'll tell you all about those dinosaurs so with our biofossils and see how that as soon as we put that in to analyze it it's starting to load up this green and that is going to turn we got dna look at that so it the analyzer is analyzing our biofossils and is figuring out what makes up that biofossil and in another one, we got some Ichthyosaurus DNA. A little marine one this time. And there we go, another one, a Compsognathus DNA. You can also analyze relic scrap. And then here is a broken ancient sword that we got from the relic scrap. We got two stone tablets and gravel. So what we can do with these stone tablets is we can break that and bang, whack it up. And look, we got a damage end and figurine and the same thing goes with these figurines as well they're just like the biofossils you can just place them down and that's the that's the enderman one um this is a really interesting one i'm not going to go into detail about exactly what this is depicting but it does have something to do with the archaeology mod um in the future that i uh, don't want to spoil we're analyzing a deinonychus vertebrae unfortunately it just gave us a a bone, but sometimes I think it has uh, a higher chance of giving you Deinonychus DNA. You can see that the plant fossils are also putting out some stuff. So we got some sand, fossilized seeds, spores, and a sapling. So the next step we need uh, to do is make a culture vat. So next episode, we're going to. Uh, I'll probably have a few farms set up and the, uh, the material ready for a culture vat. We'll do our first DNA um, culture session where we can try to hopefully turn that into a real embryo or egg.